Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review and a wear test of the new Nykaa's Prep Me Up Face Primer. And this is a pretty recent launch and this is like the first primer Nykaa has ever released. So we are going to test this out and see how this works on my oily, greasy skin. So if you have not already, do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload. And now let's jump right into the video. Now let's quickly go over with the description of this product. Now on their website it says that it leaves a sensational velvety matte finish. It is silky smooth on skin, ideal for all skin type as well as extremely lightweight. It fills in the pores and fine lines so makeup glides on flawlessly and smoothly and it contains vitamin E that neutralizes free radicals and promotes healthier skin. Now this is cruelty free as well as it is paraben free and it has a shelf life of 18 months. Now this is how the outer packaging looks like and it has this textured dots on it and it is actually nice and I really wish that the packaging of the actual product looked like that but the actual product packaging is more like a pearlish glossy finish kind of a white color with a pink cap. So this retails for 499 Indian rupees for 30 ml of product. So this primer, reading the ingredient list, I do know that it has silicone in it. So it will be giving me a nice smooth application of the foundation and it will fill in my pores. But what I'm going to test and see is that this should help me in increasing the longevity of my foundation. Number two will be it should not get my skin super greasy. Number three is that it should fill in my pores, not temporarily, but like throughout the day, the pores should be filled in because I have used a fair share of a lot of primers and some of the primers, what happens is they temporarily fill in the pores, but in due time, the pores just get enlarged and there is a lot of oiliness everywhere and then the foundation kind of gets separated and it breaks and it is just a mess. So I'm just hoping that this does not happen with the Nykaa's Prep Me Up Primer. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use my trusty foundation which is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hours full coverage foundation. Now this is in the shade 310 Sun Beige. Now this foundation works amazing on my skin. It gives me about 5 hours of no touch up without any primer or without any kind of a setting spray so we are going to see if the primer works like a charm with this foundation or it becomes greasy before five hours itself so now let's get into the application of the product all right so i have super zoomed you guys in and as you guys can see i do have a pose and i have a lot of blemishes some of them are healing, some of them are new ones. I don't know if these are acne or pimple, but they are there. And uh, overall, my skin is extremely oily and greasy. It is textured, there's a lot of bumps and pits. It is a mess. So this is how my skin is. I have only done is my eye makeup and lipstick. So the primer is a transparent kind of a primer which kind of reminds me of the color bar primer but i'm gonna first apply it on one side of my face and show you guys how it looks it is a pretty thick consistency that i can tell you right now So as you guys can see, this side is pretty shiny which does not have any primer and this side is pretty matte and it has also filled in my pores. It has done a decent job, not like a super great job. Like the Benefit Professional does a better job in filling in the pores but this has done a good job. So yeah, but otherwise I do like the fact that it has mattified my skin completely. Uh, and like I said before, it has a pretty thick consistency and yeah, let me also finish on the other side and be back. A 
okay so my full face is primed and it has mattified filled in my pores to an extent and yeah but just that it does feel a little thick especially on the forehead area because like i said i am extremely oily so let's see now i'm going to apply is my usual foundation So the foundation has been applied and it is looking flawless uh, the pores have pretty much been covered up and everything is looking matte and nice now let me finish the concealer the setting powder the blush and I will be right back okay so my makeup is done right now and it is extremely matte and there is no highlighter whatsoever and the products that I have used I'll mention it on the description box below if you guys are interested and right now the time is about 4 56 p.m. and let's say 5 p.m. and I will be back in a few hours and hopefully my skin stays fresh and good like it is right now hey guys and I am back right now and it has been about seven to seven and a half hours since I last applied the primer now this is how my face is looking now do not mind the fact that there is a bit of foundation missing around my nose and my mouth region the reason is because my nose was freaking leaking and I had to keep blowing my nose and the foundation of course got rubbed off so let me quickly zoom you guys in and show you how it is looking up close and personal and share my thoughts so as you guys can see, I feel that it has done a good job in controlling the oil production on my face because this specific foundation without any primer or a setting spray, like it did give me a good matte finish until like 5 hours. So with this primer, even after 7-7.5 seven, seven hours, it is oily, it is shiny but it's not too greasy or too oily if that makes sense but it is decent shiny. So if I just do a little bit of a blotting sheet and touch up, it will be perfect. And also about the pose, I feel that it is still minimized and it is less visible. However, the texture on my skin has been emphasized, but that also could be because of the oiliness on my face that usually does happen. So this is how it is looking. And I was expecting my face to be much more greasier or much more oilier because like I did mention before that it has a thick kind of a formula, thick consistency. So I was actually thinking that I may get extremely oily, but it did a good job. So I am pretty surprisingly impressed with this primer, but I do not feel like this is like a holy grail go-to kind of a primer, but it did a good job for the price point. It kind of stuck to its claims and it is a good primer, which is worth buying even for oily skin people now for shits and giggles I'm just going to use some blotting sheets and just see how my foundation is looking So it has taken over one full blotting sheet. Now if I'm not wrong, when I did a review of this specific foundation, after 6 hours of wear test, I had to use like 2 sheets of this. So using just one sheet is pretty good. Now I don't know why I just did that because it is past 12.30 and I have to go and sleep and I need to wash my face. But just out of curiosity. So this wraps up today's video you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload. Like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I'll try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is It's Nishanayar on Instagram and It's Nishanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.